right. <laughs> Good boy. So we're just gonna be out in the neighborhood getting him adjusted to having his new harness and doing some walking practice. Boy. Unfortunately, one of the patches got delayed in shipping, but at least the, uh, the best friend in training seems to fit well, and the vest also fits well. He definitely has plenty of room to grow in it too, and I got the mesh one for him, so that way when it gets a little bit hotter in the summer, he's got some, some ventilation there. So, the goal is to just kind of get him out and about in the new in the new setup. Practice him not pulling and redirecting. Good boy. Hi. Good boy. And uh, hopefully we'll make it all the way up to the, the shopping center and we'll do a round in the Lowe's. Hoping it doesn't rain. He was a little unsure when I uh, went to try to put it on for him. So that'll be definitely something to try to get him used to. But now this way, when he does pull, if he does because he's scared or something, we'll have two points of contact. One on either the back top of the harness and one in the front. Or you can have one on the back of the harness and one on his collar as well give us a little bit of added security as well as him not putting any additional pressure onto just his neck when he's pulling because he's scared. I added just some bungees for resistance and that seems to be helping a lot and it will also cushion any jagged movements of his too. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> oh, I know you want to play. Maybe next time. <laughs> They seem very friendly, but in a hurry probably, so. Right now I have it clipped onto the front of the harness as well as the top here. But I may also switch out and try clipping it onto uh, the back end, onto his collar. He's responding well though. So right there, a little bit of tension. Good boy, yes. Hi. Oh, good job. Good boy. He definitely likes his, his beef liver treats. We try to give him as many as we can during the training sessions just to help him gain a little bit of weight. Didn't really notice how skinny he was until I was putting on the, the harness and he is definitely a whole lot of fluff. But hopefully he'll 
he'll fill out as he continues to grow. He's been eating all of his meals, which is really good. And uh, for the first time, I didn't have to help him with his pills. That uh, was really good. He's doing well with the, the chicken, shredded chicken toppers, both for, he seems to really like it, so that helps with encouraging him to eat. And then also, it seems to really like him and agree with his system he's been having good solid stools so good win-win all around good boy I picked this leash length out because you could also use it with um, the leather lead as well and it's about the same distance so you can't get too far if out in public you can start getting him a little bit more accustomed to hanging out with us in a, in a slightly closer heel and also because it's shorter it'll be a lot easier to control him if he does panic or anything when he gets scared because he won't have as much space on the leash to build momentum what what are you unsure of the lamp? Is that it? Oh my goodness. Would you like another treat? Come here. Come on. <laughs> Come on, right there. Oh my goodness. It's okay, big guy. Here. There you go. See, it's okay. All right. light you're okay we got people moving that'll be good a lot of sound Some big items and then now his leash work is actually coming along really well very responsive to it at least and doesn't just continue to to pull just letting them be interested in what's going on Boy. I would probably recommend getting the same patches from the same company next time if possible because there's just different fonts. Well, that's fine for now. The in training is reflective where I think the best friend is glow in the dark. <laughs> it fits, uh, fits well on there though.
throw in some name practice as well while we're on the way up there. For that, all I'm doing is preloading a treat, so getting one ready in my hand, and then just calling his name, and as soon as he responds, calling him back to me for that reward. Flint! Yes, good boy, good listen. Very good, good job, big guy. Good boy. And then going right back on our merry way. If he sits, great, but I really wanted to reward him just for responding to his name so not gonna you know really always add additional commands afterwards it was good that he wanted to sit on his own for the treat though good boy ahead and switch around the placement Go. All right, we'll try this around for a little bit, see how this works. Good boy. Seems slightly less intrusive. I think if I was just running instead of this double leash, running his uh, leather single leash either attached to the front uh, with the same bungee and then one on the probably the top back of the harness. Boy. is a little bit better for me for filming because you can kind of see what he's doing more in front as opposed to being a little bit more difficult behind you can kind of see when he's pulling and when he's not 
but if I was just walking him, I'd probably have this back um, buckle or this back leash on the more forward positioning. Trying to see what's caught his interest. Oh, it says keep off grass. Come here, bud. <laughs> <laughs> lingering on the grass here trying to figure out what he's looking at good boy He's very interested in the uh, the little family with the kids there going to the playground. What do you think, big guy? You want to go play too? Oh, good boy. Hey, go, Flint. Good boy. All right, let's go. You're okay. Let's see, the front part of the chest looks pretty good. Looking underneath, the guy is so skinny. We could probably still tighten up the bottom part a little bit so it's a little bit more snug. But like I said, at least he's got plenty of room to grow and it seems to fit the front part really well. And that's got plenty of slack for adjustment as he grows as well. So. This leash here is on a slide, so if I did get in front of him, it'll help me pull that way instead. Just go into spouse and stuff. Just like that. I could definitely see if the vest was a more snug fit on him using that back attachment a little bit more so that's a that's a nice, nice little additional attachment point but for now it's a little bit too too loose and, and flimsy on his skinniness good boy interested in the birds. What do you think, bud? Flint! Yes, good boy. Thank you. It took a little bit, but that's okay. Good job. Good boy. Thank you. I'm gonna go ahead and after we cross this, pass this crosswalk, I'll readjust his harness. Good boy. Wait.
such a handsome fellow. Okay, there you go. There we go. So, might be a little overkill, a little cumbersome, but I have everything attached in the front now. So, the bungee is attached to the collar and the back of the harness. And then we just have the regular harness clip in the front. Just make a little bit less noise. Actually think of doing is rearranging that setup here and having it connected by his harness and his collar but uh, that should be fine for now don't really need the uh, extra bungee so I just connected it on the two for now Kind of see with the setup in the front of the harness it's a lot easier to kind of give them those micro adjustments when you need to keep them a little bit closer just less less leash space so what i'm going to try to do is just kind of hold it regularly next to me as i walk and let just him getting a little bit too far create that pressure naturally It should just help to teach him to slow down and check back. And say if he kept pulling um, or wasn't responding to it, I would either add additional pressure or call his name to turn him. But because he's actually doing a really good job, I'd say like 80% of the time, I'm gonna let him let him continue on boy because I really want him to kind of get used to the natural leash pressure and his little leash pressure and responding to it as opposed to constantly having to give extra tugs or extra effort just to keep him close by so right here example there you go good boy getting distracted with the family there Then, for example, here at the crosswalk, I'll just stop. Yes, good boy. Good boy, yes. He's got cars moving all around. Yes, good job. Letting him refocus back on his own. And giving him the treat. There you go. Good boy. All right, you ready? Let's go. Good job. Okay. Good. There you go. Good. So you kind of sprinted out ahead of me there a little bit. All I did was just hold my arm out, uh, let the leash create that boundary for me. You did well slowing down. Interested in all the pine cones. Good. 
same thing here again. Just stopping at the crosswalk. Good boy. All right, let's go. Really want him to get used to starting when we start and stopping when we stop. Will help a lot in real world environments. And just with him paying attention to us and the leash pressure. Good boy. Got some mechanics working on the truck here. See how he does. Hi, how you doing? Good. Nah. I'm trying to get him used to social stuff, so he's gonna probably avoid you. <laughs> good boy. Oh, good job, big guy. What do you think? Thanks. Have a good one. Good job, big guy. You curious? There you go. Boy. So you can kind of tell his tail goes down. He he ducks his head. Hi, how you doing? He ducks his head. Thanks. Good boy. <laughs> He's not sure what those things are. What do you think, big guy? Good boy. You got it. <laughs> trying to make a circle around it. Good job, big guy. So, in those situations, really just giving him a little bit of time to figure out what they are and to see that it's nothing to be afraid of. Alright, so you're going to be careful crossing here. A very busy intersection. Almost witnessed a car crash. That was good. Would have had to donate the, the video to the drivers here. Hmm. All right, I think we got a little opening. Let's go, big guy. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Good boy. Had plenty of opportunities to go to the bathroom on the way here. So you should be fine going in. Hi, how you doing? What do you think, big guy? Here, I gotta adjust. I gotta adjust the lighting there. What do you think, big guy? <laughs> Trying to get him used to social situations. You want to say hi? What do you think, big guy? Good boy. <laughs> say thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Good boy. He's definitely a, a handsome fella. Good boy. 
So especially while we're out socializing in stores, we want to do our best to let him get used to people and places, but at the same time, you know, try not to get into anybody's way directly. Um, we, the goal is to have him out and about, so that way we're just presenting him the opportunities to get used to different scenarios and presenting the opportunities for him to meet different people. That way you can get comfortable around strangers and different sounds. But we don't really want to force anything um, whenever he seems too uncomfortable. We'll just kind of take our time when he seems either unsure or hesitant or scared of something. And good boy, give him additional space if needed and some comfort. But at the same time, we also don't want him to just run away from things that he's afraid of too. You can see there the head is down a little bit, checking out the the father and son. Good boy, there you go. Oh, so a little jumpy there. The sound of uh, something dropping. Good boy, it's okay. And you'll know when he's more nervous and anxious in public, when he just becomes that much more sensitive to either the presence of people or sudden noises. That's why it's important to just kind of give him some time, find quieter times to go at first. Right now is good. Um, not too many people around. Usually on the, on the weekends, the mornings at the home improvement stores are a lot busier. And people are getting their stuff for the projects for the day. Whereas later on in the evenings or weekday mornings, it's gonna be a little bit slower. So it'll be a little bit quieter for him. And then of course, as he gets better, trying to find those times that are gonna be a little bit busier. So right now we're just kind of getting more so used to the environment. Whereas on busier days, you'll have a better chance for him to kind of get used to meeting people. Good boy. Hi, how you doing? Good boy. So I'm doing a little bit of guiding, kind of not letting him go down any of the side aisles and just walking straight, just using that le uh, leash as the boundary. But I'm mostly just kind of letting him lead the way see what he's interested in and when he's a little unsure of things. But big box there. It's okay, big guy. Good boy. There you go. There you go. It's always a good sign when they start smelling things, investigating and getting to know something as opposed to just staying away from something or moving away scared. Good boy. Good job. You can offer him a treat. There you go. It's a good sign that he's not too anxious. Good boy. Usually when he gets too nervous or when dogs get too scared, it's really hard for them to accept treats. So it's really good to see there that he's still able to accept one. So unsure of those things, right? So we're just gonna go nice and slow and give him plenty of chances to get used to all these lawnmowers. So when you're out socializing him, it's important to just really pay close attention. Oh, good boy, it's okay to when he slows down there. And that's why I wasn't too busy kind of with walking work, you know, letting him kind of go at his pace. So that way it's really obvious in those situations when you turn a corner and he suddenly slows down because of all the, all the heavy machinery around, you know, and suddenly tries to turn and run away. Good boy, it's okay. So now this is what I was talking about before where giving him just some time to get used to the new objects and not just run away from them. Right, boy. Okay. I'm gonna do a little bit of a uh, guiding towards it. Good boy. Yes, just to how to give him an opportunity to to smell and see that it's it's nothing scary. And we're just gonna kind of walk around the the area a little bit here, give him a chance to hopefully get comfortable with those new things and maybe smell them. Good boy. 
Yeah, you're doing so good. Oh, good boy. Flint. Oh, good listen. Thank you. Good boy. Oh. <laughs> Making crumbs everywhere, bud. Good boy. That's good, too. So you got the kids running around distracting him. So now he's not focused on just being afraid of the, uh, hi, how you doing? <laughs> he's not focused on being afraid of the lawnmowers. <laughs> they seem to be unsure of him, too. So, you know, we can always let him know that he's friendly um, and just make sure that he doesn't approach them too quickly. Good boy. Good job. Yeah, and just walking back through. He's actually moving the lawnmower a little bit, so that's good. Good boy. All right. <laughs> and we're just gonna double back through. Get out of everybody's way. It's okay, big guy. Good boy. We could do one last pass here. There you go. <laughs> a little bit of rushing through, but not too bad. You checking back in with me, so that's good too. Unsure of the sound of the water here. Good boy. Okay. And then when there's uh, maybe a crowded aisle or people coming by, it's good to be aware of your surroundings. So that way you can always turn into like an empty aisle. If it's gonna be too crowded or if you seem a little bit too overwhelmed, Parts coming towards him or anything like that. I'm letting people go around you because we'll be going slower. Good boy. Okay. So we got kids around, so we want to make sure we go nice and slow. Hi, how you doing? Hi. Hi, okay. It's okay, he's friendly. Okay. <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> Hi, how you doing? Hello, how are you? Good. Thanks. Good boy. You did a really good job of not overreacting there when the, the kid pet him. So I think he's definitely a lot more comfortable around children than adults. Hi, how you doing? Good boy, a little curious there. That's good. That's actually really good to know and see too. Good boy. Okay. Just trying to slow him down a little bit here. Okay. Good boy. He's not pulling too hard, but yes, good job. But enough so that, yeah. Like, discourage him from just trowing along. Good boy. Good boy. Alright. Let's go back home. Yeah. It's good for his first time. Yeah. Boy, it's okay. There you go. Getting them used to the big doors. Lots of traffic coming in. All right. Good boy. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it here. So hopefully that way I can have it uploaded by tonight for you. Boy, see it? Yes. Oh, good boy. Good job today. Good job. <laughs> 